So hey guys, here is a Mac 500 E9 uh, V8 motor and the jaking ability, it's not a jake brake, it's an engine brake. Jakes go on here too, but I don't have that system. I've got the Dynatard and they don't work with the dam anyway. But anyway, um, this one's really, really pathetic. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the little O-rings inside the rocker arm assembly. Uh, and of course this thing's going in for valve set tomorrow. But uh, here are the little O-rings, sorry about the light. Uh, one is, this, this is the old one and it's actually pretty hard to tell but it looks like it's flattened out a little bit. The other one is a brand new one. This is the solenoid that activates the engine brake. What it does is it, when a power is applied, this plunger drops down and it releases oil and it um, restricts the movement of the exhaust valve. So it doesn't let it open all the way is what it's doing. And apparently these things stick. Well, th these did. So I'm checking each and every one of them. There's four. Uh, you can't buy new ones. So there's just a simple spring underneath here. And it's operated magnetically. A lot of guys take them out and they clean them. And they seem to work better. So that's what I'm doing. Because I did have uh, some hang-ups with it when I first started driving it. This truck was completely restored. But it hasn't been driven much. Uh, it's a bit dirty right now because of, I've been working it. But um, because it hasn't been run for a long time, this thing's been jamming up a little bit. So it's actually quite simple to get these, get to these um, solenoids. Just be careful with them that you don't break the wires and all that good crap. But uh, it just sits right on top of the rocker arm assembly. And I've got a new one in there. So basically, um, I'm hoping that this makes some type of an improvement. And it just basically fits in there and screws in. You cannot buy these solenoids anymore. They're, if you ever come across a set somewhere and you're running Mack motors, grab these babies in, a, in an old engine or whatever having a spare would be really really nice and of course make sure that they're tight uh, some of the stuff that uh, was done to this motor is a little lacking in the uh, uh, <laughs> that's the quality control department this engine only has 200,000 kilometers on it and it pulls like stink but I've got a cylinder that's out of whack and I believe that it's a valve that's not properly uh, set. At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, otherwise, uh, my next move is to pull injectors and I believe that you can buy new ones. Uh, they go up in there and they're not all that hard to take out but um, Go to YouTube and figure it out. Uh, it's quite the uh, quite the process, and uh, you should be able to change your injectors without too much trouble. Don't bend those lines. If you're taking them out, disconnect them here at the head and at the injector pump. Don't start twisting lines, or you'll never get them back on. Anyway, uh, that's what's happening. Simple, simple setup. Uh, unfortunately, they're not that effective as well. So we're just going to slap this baby back together and uh, see what we can come up with. Uh, some new gaskets. And the gaskets, I think, were $7 for the complete set. So let's hope this works.